own personal little gift for you, a beautiful new version of the Bible in English with interpretations in English, which I present to you with my own dedication and my own affection. Thank you. We both share the love of the Bible. It gives me a special pleasure to host you here with your uh, wife. Um, we see this as a very important uh, turning point in the upgrading of the relations between our countries. We could do so much more in terms of uh, business relations on all fields of agriculture, trade, science, and um, energy, and uh, uh, all other fields of joint cooperation. I am particularly grateful to the Prime Minister, my good friend Bibi. Your trip comes at a very turbulent time in the world and the United States is central to this turbulence that is playing out in the in the Middle East. There's growing public outrage over what is happening um, in Gaza, in Rafa. The International Court of Justice ordered an immediate ceasefire and a withdrawal from Rafa by Israel. A couple of uh, days ago, the International Criminal Court issued our arrest warrants for Hamas and, of course, uh, some leadership of Israel, including the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. When you first came into office, one of your, one of your first stops, if not your first stop, was to Israel in May 2023. You described your relationship with Israel as being fruitful, as being strong, as being friendly. But in light of these developments, have you changed your mind? Are they still a friend? Israel is a great friend of Kenya and we believe that that should go into the future. We made a very clear statement when Israel was attacked that it was wrong. We have also made a very clear statement when there were excesses in the use of force, when children were attacked, when there were atrocities, you know, committed uh, By against, your against 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 uh, the people of uh, Palestine. We made a very strong statement that that was also wrong, because two wrongs cannot amount to a right. And we are firm in our belief of two things: that the situation in Middle East, the situation in Gaza cannot be solved using military means. That's number one. And number two, we also are of the firm belief that a two-nation solution is the way to go. We believe in self-determination. We believe in the existence of Israel as a nation and as a friend, but we also believe in the existence of Palestine as a state. And, and that is our position. And, and we, we will not walk away from that. That has been Kenya's position. That continues to be Kenya's position. In, at the United Nations, it's true that you voted three times uh, for a ceasefire. Uh, the United States blocked that move. So there's a misalignment between you and the United States on, on that. You also voted recently for the recognition of the Palestinian state. You've spent a lot of time with President Biden. It's, it's all very well to say we believe in the two-state solution. But when you are sitting with him, are you pushing strongly for an end to this calamity in the Middle East since the United States is seen as being central? It can stop this calamity with the, uh, the sale of arms. It is perpetuating this calamity. Did you say anything about that? The position of Kenya is known. It is not for me to decide. You are sitting with him it in is, the room. It is not for me to decide the position of the United States of America. Can we not tell your friends not to support a genocide? And 
Our position has been very clear when it comes to a two-state solution. It is not a position that we acquired yesterday. It is a position that has been and continues to be Kenya's position, irrespective of the positions of other countries, because we prosecute our own agenda, we speak for ourselves, we think for ourselves, and we drive our own uh, Mr. President, uh, you are in the capital globally. of the world, in the most powerful capital in the world. You've got international aid organizations pleading and crying for help. We are seeing mass graves, children being starved and emaciated. You are here right now at this pivotal, significant political moment. Surely it's not enough to say we as Kenya call for a two-state solution when you are sitting with the man whose country is selling arms to Israel. Why not leverage your proximity and your advantage to appeal for reason? Let me tell you, my sister, Kenya has done its bit. We have taken the firmest position when our alliance, when our interests converge with the United States, we stand together. When they don't, we stand separately. But that does not mean we become enemies. That does not mean it affects our friendship. It's just because it is what it is. Well, you clearly are the United States' favorite partner then because it has threatened anyone who stands against it, even Congress here introducing bills to punish countries, to punish uh, the International Criminal Court. But for some reason, you are escaping that kind of censor. Does that indicate that I, you are not <laughs> pushing hard because you are allies with Israel and you are nursing these relationships even in the face of such catastrophe? That's your opinion, and uh, it doesn't necessarily reflect what Kenya stands for. As I have told you, we are very firm in our belief on a di uh, resolution of the conflict in Gaza, not by military means. We do not support what is going on in terms of women, children, mass graves. That's, and we have, we have made our position very clear. And secondly, there are countries who don't believe in a two-state uh, solution for, 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 for the Middle East. We do, and we are unapologetic about it because we believe that is the right position. Right. Israel must exist as a state and they are our friend, but Palestine too must exist as a state.